Hi everybody, welcome to my updated spring 2022 morning skincare routine. I've been taking care of my skin since I turned 20. Skincare is a passion of mine. I have oily skin, large pores. I do have mild rosacea. It used to be a lot worse when I was younger. Throughout the years, I've learned to use the products that work for me to calm my facial redness from the rosacea. I like to keep my skincare very simple and I don't like changing it up. I don't try the latest and greatest. I find a product that works for me and I stick with that product until it no longer works for me. And that is my philosophy towards skincare. I don't use a lot of products. I use more in the morning just because of some different serums that I want to use. It's a pretty basic skincare and I've been using this particular routine for the last two years and I have really noticed uh, remarkable changes in my skin in the two years since I've been using it. And when I get to certain products, I'll be sure to point those products out to you. Next week, I'll be doing my updated spring 2022 evening skincare routine. So subscribe so you don't miss that video. So I still like to wash my face first thing in the morning. Because I have oily skin, I just like starting the day with a fresh face. My face doesn't get dirty overnight, but it can accumulate a little bit of oil, especially in the warmer months. And I just like to use something very gentle. And what I'm using lately is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's a gel cleanser. It's very hydrating and it is very gentle on the skin, which is so important. And I still use a Clarisonic, even though they no longer make them. I'm going to use it for as long as I can. A lovely viewer friend reached out to me. She had some extra Clarisonic heads and she very graciously sent them to me. So I really appreciate that. So I just moisten the Clarisonic head and then I just put two small pumps onto the brush. And then I just go all over the face just to clean off any oil. I know I don't use the brush the way that they recommend it, but this is the way that I use it and it's worked fine for me for all these years. So the next thing that I do is I hydrate my skin with this hydrating toner by PCA Skincare. It has no alcohol and it hydrates my skin without clogging my pores. I use a Shiseido Facial Cotton and I actually just split the cotton in half and then I will use this portion in the evening. And I just go all around my face with my toner and it just makes my face feel really fresh and hydrated. I can actually feel my skin soaking in the toner. This is one of the my favorite toners that I've ever used before. It just feels so, so good. So the next product is actually a very recent addition and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of information about it. I used to use the vitamin C and E by PCA Skin, but I just got that I didn't like it anymore. It just seemed to be a little too thick and I wanted more of a, a liquid consistency. I just picked this up recently in the Sephora sale. It is by Dermalogica and it is professional grade skincare. So in Canada, we can now buy some professional grade skincare on Sephora. It is a brightening serum that is concentrated with vitamin C, lactic acid, and hyaluronic acid. It hydrates and firms the skin, and it reduces the look of fine lines. I don't know if you can notice on camera, but I can notice it. I'm getting a lot of freckles appearing underneath my skin because years ago, we did not use sunscreen. When I was a kid, we would go on vacation for two weeks, camping every year. I would burn like a lobster. We never used sunscreen. They didn't worry about the sun back then. So I started using sunscreen when I was older, probably around 25. I do not wear it every day. I know that goes against what everybody says, but I think it's a personal decision. Most days I'm not out in the sun. If I'm gonna be out in the sun, yes, I will wear a sunscreen. If I'm in the house, no, I'll just use my moisturizer. That is a personal decision for me, but I'm just being totally honest with you. So I wanted to try this vitamin C to see if it would help to fade the freckles that are showing up. So it just comes in this uh, bottle you can't see through. And I just drop, I don't know, about that much. And then I'll uh, put it on both hands and I just tap it into the skin, mainly on the cheeks where the sun damage is really bad. And then what's left, I put on the backs of my hands because I can tell my hands are really starting to age and show the damage that the sun has given me over the last 53 years. So the next thing that I use is a PCA Total Strength Serum. I go through about three 
bottles of this a year. I love this stuff. I'm sorry, I cannot remember things, so I have to like write things down, but I want to tell you the Total Strength Serum is a peptide and epidermal growth factor formulation, which minimizes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores, and I do have large pores. It firms, tightens, and strengthens aging skin. So I'll just put about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. I dab it all over and then I will just go in and rub it in. I really love this Total Strength Serum. It is wonderful. So that's all rubbed in. So the next product that I'm gonna use, I love this product. I introduced this product probably maybe a year, a year and a half ago. I immediately noticed a difference with this product and it is the PCA Skin Hyaluronic Acid Serum. My skin just uh, absorbs it and it just like quenches my skin. My skin feels so hydrated. I believe that it has sort of plumped up uh, my cheeks in the areas that I use it. So I put about a pump and a half. I just dab it all over and then I just work it in. I go up under the eye. Just be careful you don't get it in the eye. Oh, this stuff is wonderful. And I wanted to tell you this about the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. It provides a deep, long-lasting hydration on three levels goes on the surface deeper in the skin and it increases the skin's own hyaluronic acid production. It instantly hydrates and smooths the skin so you get a much deeper hydration. The next product that I've introduced back into my skincare, I had used it a few years ago. I wanted to try it again and it's by Bobbi Brown and it is her eye cream. Typically, I never used a separate eye cream. I really didn't believe in them. I would just use the products that I normally use bring them up around my eye area. But when I did use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, I did notice a difference. I have oily eyelids, so I didn't want anything that would make me more oily. This doesn't, it's wonderful. It can actually feel my skin just suck it in. It absorbs instantly. So I take about that much, and I just tap it in under my eye, both eyes. I know I'm not using my ring finger, but this is the finger that I use. And then I will just gently press it into the eyelid. It just, it's its so, um, so hydrating. It's hard to describe, but it feels wonderful. It almost has a cooling effect. So my face is really feeling hydrated, which is wonderful, but not oily, which is so important when you have oily skin. So now we're at the final step, and this is where I have to decide. Am I gonna wear sunscreen today, or am I just putting on my collagen hydrator? I know the answer, but I'm just gonna walk you through my other options. If I was on a beach vacation, definitely would wear sunscreen. No question asked, just sunscreen. I wouldn't put a moisturizer on over it and you have to keep reapplying the sunscreen. I was recently on a cruise. I did get a burn on my face because I didn't reapply my sunscreen so it was my own fault. If I'm gonna be in and out of the house, I like to use the Elta MD and I have two versions of it. I have the clear version where it is non-tinted. This is the same product but it's tinted. So it kind of is like a foundation. It makes your complexion nice and smooth. So really like these. I think they're great options. They have an SPF of 40. In the US, I believe your SPF might be 46. I think it's higher. So it's a UV daily uh, sunscreen with moisturizer. So really like these. The product that I'm going to be using today is the PCA Skin Collagen Hydrator. It's raining out today. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be in my living room not near a window, editing videos, so I'm gonna be fine with this. But if you work near a window, you know, you probably should probably wear some sunscreen. But I'm just being honest with you, don't shoot the messenger. So the thing I like about the Collagen Hydrator, it's very light on my oily skin. It immediately makes my skin feel hydrated. I do not get oily throughout the day. Although I'm coming to the time of year where my skin will be oilier. It's weird, since I've been about 50, must be hormones. 
I had a really, really oily skin when I was younger. But when I turned around 50, it went on the drier side in the winter time. Uh, and I can tell now, like we're almost, you know, at the end of April, it's tending to go a little oilier for summer. The collagen hydrator is a rich moisturizer that hydrates and firms mature skin. It has fruit extracts, including olive and almond, which infuse antioxidants into the skin while firming it. I love this stuff. I've tried a few other of the BCA skin moisturizers. They didn't work as well for my skin. It takes the tiniest amount and I just dab it all over and just work it into my skin. So that is my morning skincare for spring 2022. It takes me a couple of minutes in the morning my skin feels great, and like I said, yes, I know you're supposed to wear sunscreen, but I don't wear it every day. I'm just being honest with you. But remember, if you go out in the sun, of course wear sunscreen. Or if you're driving in a car, or if you're sitting close to a window. If you feel more comfortable wearing sunscreen, wear it. This is my personal decision. If you enjoyed seeing my skincare routine, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel for more beauty, skincare, fashion, and travel videos for the over 50 woman. Have a great day.